This is The Common Thread you are listening to. My name is Val. I'm here with DJ Douglas and with Diamond Dave, who's out in the cafe area right now. There you go. Yo, hey, folks. Hey, brothers and sisters. Here we are, be once again, streaming around the planet on the Internet. Hey, Dave, why don't you read something to start the show, and then we'll go into the Julian Davis segment. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I just came from, came from the San Francisco International Poetry Festival happening on a beautiful day. In fact, uh, you're going to hear it for the first time. Now, let's just see if we can find some of, some of his music. Alejandro Magia, the poet laureate of the mission, is now the poet laureate of all of San Francisco. That was announced today. Hey, Alejandro, and he's going to be, be a guest here in a week or two. Do you have his uh, 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 I happen to talk to Neely, Neely Shervosky. He was there, the poet laureate of Bernal Heights. And uh, we just have a book here called Peace or Parish, City Lights. Uh, 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 Ferlinghetti will be there a bit later, 93 years old. And also reading there is a guy I met for the first time, Antoine Cesar. Anton Suez is, uh, is going to be coming in a bit later. A bit later, so stick around. He's an amazing poet. He's from Malta, and he read his poetry in, Mont- in, uh, in, uh, in Maltese. Let me read just the first few, just get the way. This is about borders and what borders do to people. I'm just going to read the first lines, but stick around. And uh, we're going to have a this is Gray Julian. And, uh, and you'll soon have a, yours old or new friend of the heart and of the skin who grasped me with both hands strong and caressing and welcomed me with a warm and open face. Yours. These stories of sands adrift, of approaching dunes, their hair loose in the wind, stories of raging scenes, the waves in descent like eyelids crash- crashing shut in an endless blinking of chameleon skies pierced through by round or sharpened peaks, encircled by the, by the measured equal eddies of thin air, of streaming rivers, sprung from the horizons, spreading forth in a slather like tongues in faded encounters, like tongues in festive communions, tongues that swirl in a, ve- in a vessel the depth and breadth of a full-fleshed apple, flushing red, bitten at the top and on three sides. Tongues pronouncing a myrrh moon filled word, 6,000 yet one, in a long embrace on every outcrop, every shore. And that's a man who, after he read, uh, uh, read, I, uh, I cried out, it's Antoine Césaire, the Maltese falcon. And when he comes in, and he read it Maltese. Here's the segway, for, the segway, folk, segway, folks. And who read the translation in English? He read it in Maltese, which sounds like a mixture of uh, which it is of Italian uh, and, and, and Arabic and languages long before, because the multi, the first Maltese were called Phoenicians. I don't know if you knew that, but that's his roots. That's where he's been. Malta, the crossroads of the Mediterranean, and he writes about borders and what they do to people. Wow, so stick around, folks. This be uh, Radio Mutiny. Come on down the corner of 21st in Florida. The door is open. You'll be welcome to come down and participate because the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. And around here, we be spontaneously saying, uh, the, 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 doing more together than any of us can do on our own. Of course, as that has happened, more and more people have drifted in, have come in, have joined our crowd. Hey, folks, say hello to the planet. Hello, planet. As you can tell, it'd be happening. And I was just saying, uh, what would Ginsburg say? Cosmopolitan greetings. Co- Cosmo- what were the cosmopolitan greetings. We'll get to it. <laughs> cosmopolitan greetings. Take down the walls, open the doors, get rid of the borders, too. Families, bands, tribes, communities, collectives. I believe in that. But borders just align on their map. Don't believe in that. Mark you are. Anyway. Many... Many borders are, um, they're drawn in pencil. So what we, something I, I dream of sometimes, uh, I have the, the, um, the uh, utopian sickness. Um, it's a good one. Uh, yeah. I dream of uh, helicopters bombarding borders with rubbers. Okay, with erasers. 
Okay, we got Molly here. Summer in the U.S. means something else, though. No? It does. Kind of. What you can do both, I guess. Yeah, well, we need to. Hey, it'd be helping people anyway. out in one way or another. So it's all that for sure. Underraises. Yeah. But anything goes on this program. That's all right. As long as it's positive, as long as it's in the direction of bringing people together. Because the bottom line of being a good MC, which I tried to do, and all these folks are bringing it all together, is that nobody goes away mad. Nobody goes away sad. Everybody goes away glad, able to do what they came to do. So I put it out there, knowing that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, and we can do more together than any of us can do on our own. Is that right? Yeah. Right. Antoine. Antoine. How do you say? Antoine. Hey, yes, Antoine. Antoine. So you've come. Uh, you've come to uh, uh, San Francisco as part of the uh, San Francisco International Poetry Festival. That's right. Are you on a tour? Are you going to other towns? What's your here in this uh, country now that you've been able to cross that border? Well, uh, I would love to. I would love to stay longer. I'm only here until next Wednesday. One one week in total. So. Um, only here in the USA for one week. Yeah, unfortunately. So. Well, we gotta hook you up and link you up because what you have to say I needs to get around. I must go to well, stay in touch. Uh, well, the places where Walt Whitman used to live. And Ellen Ginsberg, and the poetry, the poetry center at uh, at Saint uh, at the church at uh, at the church in Greenwich Village. Uh, the St. Mark's Poetry Poetry Center. There's so many places where St. you. Mark's Poetry Center. Yeah. Okay. That's where. That's where. Uh, anyway, there's so many places you're needed, brother. Come on back. I'll travel a little bit. I mean, I'll, I hope to go to Angel Island on Sunday. Okay. To visit the immigration station there. And if I, uh, if I find someone to accompany me on Tuesday, I'd like to rent a car and go and drive north and see some redwoods. Okay, well, okay. Three. well, we're connecting. We'll give you a call. We're connected. We'll see what happens. You, so you're going to be you. You're going to be reading again Sunday. Yes. Here on Sunday, I will read at the Emerald Tablet. At the Emerald Tablet. With Mark Kokinos. He's also is connected to the Free University. Everything's connected. Have you noticed that as you're rocking around? This is the oh, network, right. cast a wide net. Now, and Mark is going to be. Are you going to be reading something else? We'll, we'll be reading uh, at the same time. In fact. On uh, Sunday uh, at the Emerald. Okay. With, with Marie Silkeberg. Well, that's my stomping ground. That's where I first came here in 1957 to join the Beat Generous. You came in 1957. 1957. And soon I was. Good time. Bike messenger by day, beatnik by day and night. It was 1957, and I was in seventh heaven on nonlinear dart and on, on the urban checkerboard up and down that street called Grant Street on North Beach. So if you get some time tomorrow, uh, Sunday, I'm going to come to the Emerald Tablet, and I'm going to get, I'm going to take you on a tour. I'm going to take you on a tour where we used to be, where we used to hang out, Kerouac, Cassidy, Ginsburg when he'd come through, Gregory Corso, and all the people who are now anonymous. That community, that handful of people that kicked off that movement, beating the hippie, punk rock, hip hop, <laughs> where we be, as you see. Let's do that on Sunday evening. We're going to do that. Cool. We're going to have to do something. San Francisco International, International Poetry, Poetry Festival. Festival is going on, and I was down there earlier. Yeah, it started last it night. Was, was, the, was the was the kickoff time at Kerouac Alley? Kicked off last night. That's where it will end. Also on Sunday, so there's a lot of events in between now and then. Yeah, Stuff Sunday. going on at City uh, Civic Center right now, and also all day tomorrow. And then the uh, the poetry call starts on Sunday uh, at 11 a.m. at the Emerald Tablet in North Beach. So we've got a couple of poets who've come down from the festival here. Uh, thank you for joining us. Who do you have with you on the couch there, Dave? And, uh, and so I, I enticed to bring me hey, up. Uh, uh, and also, this was the first coming out of the new Poet Laureate. We mentioned Alejandro Mejia. Right. Well, they was announced uh, at the opening ceremony last night by the mayor. Was, and there was by the mayor and there was today. The first poet totally blew my mind. In fact, when he was finished, I called him the, well, in the midst, I shouted out, it's, uh, I, I shouted out, it's the, it's the Maltese Falcon, because we're talking about international, and this, uh, this brother comes all the way from Malta. Malta, the crossroads of the Middle East, I mean, where the Middle East and Europe meets, the crossroads of the Mediterranean, settled by the Phoenician people. So many people have come through that there's so many DNAs there, and now we're seeing one of the results. I'm talking about my brother. My, uh, Antoine? Antoine? That's right, Antoine Cassar. Antoine Cassar. I wonder if that's a derivation of Caesar. I wonder if that's a Roman. Well, there are, there are at least three theories as to where the name Cassar comes from. But um, 
the, the, the one I remember the most is that uh, kasar comes from the Arabic word asar to shorten or to cut hair. So it's like barber. Okay, my, well, my you're well barbered Baba. for sure. Your yeah. hair is right there. And anyway, uh, and so... Uh, there are no barbers in my family, though. Oh, yeah, not, so this is way... <laughs> we back. don't have much hair on our uh, heads, though. So. <laughs> well, anyway, so... Uh, Ancient trade. So, anyway, so this, you're the first person to ever hear from Malta. And I'm so glad to see you. And he puts out a... Pa- his, 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 he's put out as a passport. Uh, a passport. It looks like a passport, but it's a passport to replace passports. Yeah, an anti-passport. He is a passport. The passport ends with that. I, I read. Uh, I read the first. Uh, the first page. Well, uh, in anticipation of you coming in, so I'm so glad you're here. And uh, and, the, and it begins with some dedications. And it, look, I took the black passport. And it begins with first our brother Walt Whitman, who said, "Take down the doors, open the doors, from their hinges." Right. What he will. Um. I've taken three uh, very short. Um, okay, why don't you read those? Things in, on, on, on page three. And uh, the Walt Whitman quote goes like this My dearest dream is for an internationality of poems and poets binding the lands of the earth closer than all treaties or diplomacy. Uh, he wrote that in a letter to a friend. I can't remember, uh, I can't remember his name. But it's not one of his poems, it's from, it's from a letter that he wrote. Then the second quote is a very short poem by another Maltese uh, author, Emmanuel Mifsud, a big influence on me. Uh, this is one of his first poems, in fact. And it goes like this. I threw my passport to the sea. I saw the ink run, the pages tear, but my face smiled for the first time. And then the third one is um, a few lines from uh, Jawaz al-Safar, which means passport in Arabic. It's a poem by Mahmoud Darwish. These are the closing lines. O oh, gentlemen, prophets, do not ask the trees for their names. Do not ask the valleys who their mother is. From my forehead bursts the sword of light, and from my hand springs the water of the river. All the hearts of the people are my nationality, so take away my passport. Wow. Well, we're definitely down all of that. Anyway, uh, and uh, and my, my brother, uh, my brother, you're going to be translating for. Now, I want to, I, I want to, I want people to hear. It's probably for the first time. Most of a lot of the people here, certainly in this room, have heard your language, have heard, uh, uh, have heard uh, the Maltese. So I want you to uh, do something bilingually, if you will. But you're going to be translated by on Sunday at the tablet. By uh, by my friend right here, so Mark Kokonis. Uh, Mark, of course, I'm getting ahead of myself. By no pre- okay, Mark. So you're going to be translating for him and uh, letting it go on. But on 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 Sunday, we're going to read different poems. It won't be the it won't be the passport. On okay. Sunday, we're, go- we're going to read three poems. Okay. I'll read in, in Maltese, and uh, Mark will read in English. And there's a poem about GMOs. Um, a poem about the bombardment of Gaza in 2009, and then there's a love poem. Wow. Yeah, which is also related to the passport, but um, if you come on Sunday... Well, I see that love is intertwined with everything you do. You're the love guy, I could tell. Oh, migration is, it's more than just a pet issue, you know? No. Uh, um, I was born in London to Maltese parents, and I spent my life zigzagging from one country to the other for family reasons between... I lived in a triangle between London, Malta, and Spain, and wow. my three languages are Maltese, English and Spanish. And but speaking about the passport, speaking of the love, I, I believe it's true that if people were free, that, 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 that people were free without passports, we'd be mixing, intermixing, and following the, the natural path of the DNA to mix it up. And out of it, we would become one people, one, uh, one people, one, uh, one, uh, one race, well, which, which, is, uh, which is bringing together a blend, the great rainbow of all races. This is uh, some time where one step is taking, away the, is taking it down the borders so people can meet one another, connect to one another, and live and love freely. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, you are. We need those helicopters to bombard borders with erasers. With erasers, <laughs> bombard those borders. The thing Take, is, bombard borders with rubbers, it's an Ill, uh, uh, alliteration with the B and the R. It doesn't work in, in American English because rubber is something else. But well, we could bombard them with rubbers too. 
Who said that? Free uh, right. Who was that? It's, a, was it's a win-win situation either way. Yeah. Uh, both exactly. both. Yeah. Yeah. It's called freedom of choice. No borders. Freedom of choice. And safe six. But I'd like to hear a poll. Yeah, uh, Amen. Uh, that, uh, that means freedom of choice. Uh, anyway, so I want you to, will you give us a poem in both, uh, uh, in both, uh, Sp- in both uh, Maltese and English? Do you have one at hand? Uh, well, I tell you what, um, I can start off with two haikus. Right? Okay, that'd be good. Uh, the, the, the two haikus, right? Okay. In Maltese and English. And then uh, a section from the passport in Maltese and English. Perfect. What do you think? All right. So, the first of the two haikus goes like this. It's called A Syrian Boy. Tfai el Syrian. Fu il canvas tatinda e pingi e diar. And now in English, a Syrian boy paints houses on the canvas of his tent. Second haiku. Uh, well, that's today. It's history. They're in Turkey. In Turkey. Hmm. On the border, across the border, see paints. Well, houses. it's it seems to be end game in the civil war in Damascus well, right now. Damascus is. Now, but it's going on. It's Follow one of the oldest. Um, continuously uh, populated cities in the world That's and there's true. civil war there right now right now and the, the second haiku before i recite it uh i need to make a confession because i'm part of the hypocrisy i recently bought a second hand mac because it's so much easier to use in a pc but anyway um and i, I try uh to remember each time i use it those Chinese workers who are in factories surrounded by suicide nets. <laughs> there have been, uh, we, we don't know how many suicides there have been in these factories that make iPhones, iPods, and, and so on. So when, um, what's his name? Uh, Steve Jobs died. Uh, he was portrayed as a Jesus-like figure in the media. Well, uh, okay, he was a genius. And um, he did contribute to uh, making communication much easier, which also seems to have influenced the the, um, the movements. The the movements in the Arab Spring. That's th- right. Hopefully, will eventually right. so pull those, there's the positive pull side to technology being used to, to, use to connect. But then, Apple very openly supports um, factories with suicide nets. <laughs> Well, right. life is full of contradictions. Right, because yeah. it's such a horrible work environment that people want to kill themselves for working there. Exactly. It's yeah, but wretched. They, they feel so humiliated and so desperate that, you know. Well, life is they, full they of can, contradictions. They don't even have the choice to kill themselves because there's a suicide net there. So the haiku uh, goes like this. Apple of our eyes. Are there suicide nets up there in heaven? Wow. Right now, we're going to have another San Francisco poet, Mark Kokonos, uh, give us a poem. Hey, Mark, how are you? Mark the Greek. With Antoine from Malta, and uh, he's here for the San Francisco International Poetry Festival. He's going to be reading in Maltese, and I'm going to be reading in English from his uh, passport poem. Go for so it. Go for it. Yeah. Antoine and Mark. Tiak, Habib yo Habiba, ta nifs ta sinsla, ta roch o tal modulun, ta listes generazioni tiei, tuelit meta tuelit, il machtis zernia fi khabuba inaik, o is shemsh finzula, ta listes paisaj tiei, tuelit fe tuelit, chasetek fil blad o fil bleed. Tiak il hashish ta paumanok, il rawa tlembe bitchak ta isla negra, u is zifna ta del with diya madirain il banyan, ta shanti niketan. Tiak il kermit chimkoe, al diafa, liberte, hewa, yipimbak, swagata, imbizu imbizu. Tiak il piacir palpabli, u pullulanti, ta albit palpat, fideig harkiena. Yours, old or new friend of the breath and of the spine, of the soul and of the marrow, of my own generation, 
Whenever you were born, I have glimpsed the daybreak in your eyes and the setting sun of my very own landscape. Wherever you were born, I have sensed you in the rock and in the cities. Yours is the grass of Pamanak, the foam rolling out the pebbles of Isla Negra, and the dance of light and shade in the forms of the banyan of Shantin Ikitan. Yours the words Chimkowe, Aldiafa, Liberté, Heiwa, Lipimpak, Swagata, Mbizo, Mbizo. Yours the palpable, pullulating pleasure of a heart pulsating in your ardent hands. Tiak dan il passaport al popricolla. Bandera ausalla, ubar mata wizza migratoria dur mal globu, bilingui kolli treat. Ufficiali umush, bil oshra kahla ocean, yau hamra dem nishef, yau seuda faham lest al hru, azelint, hu du feitishtir, il passage sicuru in berrach, il bib ma loch mit chachis, tistatit holutochroj bla biza, bla hat my wat flag, bla hat my yapzek fil q, yau yitfek waranet. Memsh tistenna, blahat ma jajlik ir papir bita e abdekit takikardia bil biudia ta sebau, blahat ma i perrec, jo e werrec a inech, skont il prodot domestiku gross per capita ta nazion li tralli waraik. Blahat ma jodok barrani, alien, kriminal, immigrant illegali, jo extra komunitariu, hat muzejet. Blahat ma jajlik spik, gringo, Paki, Cholo, Krimi, Sudaka, Goliwog, Chink, Blahat, Maje Puntale Kalashnikov, Jewen Nebiet, Takelb, Palmuntan Yif Shulshin, Blahat, Maje Jelek to od Kokka Malchait, Haidefislek i Dumidil Kamin Tacht, Uifitesh, Belkalma, Blahat, Maje Sakrek Jolksir Takabuba, Ui Alftekil Barra Wara Klitil Yili Hol Mikrach, Menar Spiega Tashein, Idem Aduim Chapas Masormuk. Yours, this passport for all peoples, with a rainbow flag and the emblem of a migratory goose encircling the globe, in all the languages you want, official or dialect, in ocean blue or dried blood red or coal black ready for burning, the choice is yours. Take it where you will. Your passage is safe and unobstructed, the door unscrewed from the jams. You can enter and leave without fear. There is no one to stop you, no one to jump you in the queue or send you to the back. There's no need to wait, no one to say, your papers, please, quickening your heartbeat with the pallor of his finger, no one to squint or glare at you according to the gross domestic product per capita of the nation you've left behind, no one to brand you stranger, alien, criminal, illegal immigrant, or extra communitare. Nobody is extra. No one to call you spick, gringo, packy, cholo, creamy, sudaka, gollywog, chink. No one to train a kalashnikov on you, nor the crowded craggy canines of a half-starved dog. No one to squat you down against a wall, to slip a well-lubed hand in from underneath and search with calm no one to lock you up in the chill of a cell, only to throw you out again after a sweaty three-night ordeal. No reasons given, the blood still drying on your arse. Oh. Thank you, Anton Kassar. Thank you, Mark Kokonos.